Figured it was time to take a look at the XR10 lineup. There are three different XR10s ranging in amperages, features, and the price points change a little bit. Uh, XR10 Pro 160 is the heavy duty guy. XR10 Pro stock spec 80 amp is the middle of the road one. And the XR10 just stock, which I believe is a 60 amp rating, is the uh, lower end of the spectrum for them as far as features and price point goes. So what's the difference in all these besides the specs? Well the 160 is a 2 to 3S, the stock spec is a 2S only, and then we get down to the just stock that is again back to the 2 to 3S situation. Um, in case you have, these are more for wide range basher stuffs. This is more specifically for stock or spec style racing um, in 10 scale applications. Open mod classes are going to do the XR10. This has pretty much no motor limit. I've used it a little bit with four pole. We don't really recommend it for the heavy duty four pole stuff, but uh, it can handle it. Mainly going to use the low turn, high KV two pole motors um, for normal 10 scale, like four wheel drive buggy, two wheel drive buggy racing classes, tr open touring car, um, and some of the open spec classes where you run a lot of boost and timing, this guy might be in your favor. So XR10, biggest, baddest, has the biggest fan, heaviest case, most MOSFETs, highest amp rating. XR10 is next. This guy has the timing and the boost and all that fun stuff um, in a smaller package and a lower amp rating specifically for spec motors. And the difference, the XR10 stock spec and the XR10 just stock have different motor limits and they don't reflect the amperage rating. The XR10 actually, or the stock spec, I'm sorry, has a higher motor turn limit than the XR10 just stock does. That is mainly because this guy has timing advance, whereas this guy does not. So because of that, because you can use timing advance, it has to have a little bit higher or safer motor limit than the non-timing version does. If you don't use any timing or anything like that with this guy, it's just as capable as the stock spec is as well. Big differences here are uh, it's a much smaller footprint. If you hold these guys side by side, you get a millimeter in one direction. It's a little bit shorter. Um, and it also has a heavy duty aluminum case as well as the removable switch wire. So if you wanted to do the, the super stealth push button style, if you have a nice clean install with just the speed control, no switch wire, you can turn it on and off like that. Or if you do need the remote switch, this still has that as well. So you can put that somewhere in the vehicle. Um, nice cute little fan that for a lot of the application this is used for, you probably don't even need the fan if you're not using the timing. Um, but if you are running boosted or open spec classes, the XR10 stock spec is the way to go. Or even if you're just running blinky classes, stock spec is the way to go. It has blinky modes that lock out all that timing as well. Um, getting down to the XR10 just stock. This guy is great, super affordable, very, very lightweight, ultra tiny, does not have any timing advance, so it's ready for the blinky or the spec class racing, and a super friendly price point as well. If I had to pick between these two, I'd be kind of hard pressed. If you're gonna be a basher style and you maybe wanna do three cell or rock crawl stuff with three cell, this guy's gonna be a better choice. If you're just looking for a two cell sensor-based brushless speed control that's super reliable for two cell, this is great. This is actually what I run in my rock crawler on two cell. I love this guy. Um, so there you have it, the uh, XR10 lineup, a look at the XR10 Pro 160, the XR10 stock spec 80, and the XR10 just stock, which is, like I said, I believe a 60 amp rating. Thanks a lot, folks. If you have any questions about what these guys do or how they operate, feel free to post that in the comments below. Or by all means, shoot me an email, charlie at hobbywing.com. Thanks a lot, everybody.
checked out their astral chart. This one is a work of art. Now I know she reads a stride. 